Hello, hello, and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Alicia Verwe, and you're at Educating, where our job is to keep you on the cutting edge of education. Today, we're going to be talking all about a new manipulative tool to keep your students engaged, whether you are remote learning or if they're going to be back in person this fall. So either way, we've got you covered. Uh, this is a great thing to use also if you're doing a summer school situation or if you're doing a tutoring situation. Um, these can be some great tools for you to utilize. It's going to be toy theater that we're talking about today. Again, toy theater. It's totally free and it's web-based. Before we jump in too much to that, I want to make sure we cover our housekeeping. Please make sure that you hit that like button. Make sure that you share this video so that other people can enjoy the wealth of knowledge that we're sharing with you. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified every single time that we post a new awesome video tool or strategy for you. That being said, we're going to go ahead and jump into Toy Theater right now and show you what it's all about. You can see we just went to toytheater.com and this is what pulls up. Now, you can see there are options right here on the home page for you. So you can choose any of these that you'd like to go to. Um, I'll jump into Area Climber just so you can see what this looks like. You can see we're dealing with square roots here. And if you click on the right answer, the little guy climbs up the ladder. Um, which color shape has an area of 12 squares? One, two, three, four, five. Not that one. This one has six, so that should be right. And you see you can keep on going. Um, if you get it wrong, you see what happens. The little guy fails and he goes backwards. So their goal, obviously, is to get up to the coin. Um, so that's one of the games that's available. You can go into Teacher Tools. You can see there are tons of options here. Um, so we can go to, uh, let's say, Telling Time. Okay, so here's your time clock. You've got classroom timers. You've got stopwatches. So if you want that, you've got all sorts of active options there. Um, you can go to the spinner tool, which we know is awesome if you're trying to get kids to label a color or a number. Um, and then you can spin, have them identify the, col uh, the number that it lands on. We have playing cards. We have dice. Um, you can go into the game mode. There's all sorts of games for the kids to play if you want something just generic like that. Let's go into reading and see what kind of tools we have available here. So you see here we have a uh, hidden picture. So if you're trying to get kids to really focus on the hidden picture, we're looking for a nest. So we have to look around. We have to find the nest. So we got it right. We're looking for a shirt. The shirt is hidden there. So you can see it just keeps going and you find the items just like you would on um, those hidden picture options. We can go to uh, spelling to see what's available. You have word scramble games. So if you're practicing spelling. Um, and here we're looking at computer. Okay, so this is going to be obviously for those beginning readers. Um, bottle. Okay, so then let's go into art. You can see there's all kinds of art available. This is one of my favorites where they do the quilt and you can have them make patterns. And so they will pick the colors and fill in the spaces. So, and they'll keep going, obviously, until they fill in this whole thing, illustrating the color pattern. Um, getting in, you've got fractions. So you see here, you can create the circle to see how much of the fraction you're dealing with. Um, you can do a hole. Okay. So you can do this any way that you like um, to create your your fraction. This is great manipulatives to help students out um, as far as understanding those actual concepts. So you've got place value, you've got um, calculators, I mean you name it, it's basically here. You've got music options, you see that they do music with fractions. So there's a lot of cross integration here. 
So this is a fabulous website to get on, just spend some time really um, perusing around and find what's in here that you really like. Again, this is a free tool and resource, so make sure you check it out. It's toytheater.com. And that, my friends, was Toy Theater. So I hope that you found this to be an awesome resource that you can incorporate into your classroom, whether it maybe be a center, maybe it's something you're going to use with remote learners, maybe you're going to use it in a tutoring situation. There's all kinds of awesome uses out there. Um, if you're a parent that's maybe watching this, this is a great thing to get on and give your child some additional practice on a specific skill set that they might be struggling with. So we thought it was awesome, wanted to share it with you, and hopefully give you another tool in your toolbox to use. And of course, we love free, right? Always great to have something free in education that we don't have to pay for. So enjoy Toy Theater. Hope you find it a great additional resource for your classroom. Again, don't forget, hit that like button. Be sure to share our video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified every time we post. We look forward to seeing you here next time. Happy teaching!